So um, I want to start our interview with Helen uh, from uh, the agency uh, and the radical movie, radical moves, right? Or it's, yeah. I said it right. It's not radical, radical movies. It's radical moves. Radical moves, yeah. <laughs> so um, the first thing I want to ask you, Helen, it's uh, the IBC, okay? Yeah. Uh, because uh, you can see the industry. Uh, in the horizontal way, okay, because through uh, many clients that you have mm -hmm. uh, from the broadcasting industry, I wanted to ask you what the, the client saying, what is the main trends that you saw, and uh, what are the general trends and the, like the the, the 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 latest hits that uh, the latest the products that you paid attention in the IBC. So I think there were a couple of things that um that kept coming up one is obviously cloud um more and more moving to the cloud more and more the cloud just being a necessity rather than like an well it was initially a necessity and now it's kind of just makes such business sense that people are moving more parts of the workflow to the cloud from every from every kind of from ingest right the way through um yeah, yeah, yeah definitely definitely one thing um and then the other thing was definitely um the sustainability discussions were front and center i mean they had that whole conference focused on sustainability a lot of people talking about it <laughs> launching um launching ways to to sort of help become more sustainable, etc. Um, so it was really interesting to see that that topic. Really? Yeah. So you had like so Exedo launched their sustainable marketplace, which is all about being able to see which products or which suppliers have started their sustainable journey. So you can basically now start to build your OTT service with products that are sustainable um or the okay, are yeah, interesting. more sustainable or where the the providers are at least starting that journey and so with okay, that products that are kind of either <clears throat> adding sustainability features or yeah just starting to kind of look at that aspect and report their carbon footprint and look at their suppliers etc very interesting. I didn't pay attention. Uh, like uh, it's very interesting. I'm I'm totally uh, for a, a green a green world. Yeah, with uh, no carbon extractions, and it's very cool that uh, if if you could um, afterwards, if you could send us maybe some uh, press releases of maybe some of your yep. clients also became sustainable uh, companies. So it's it's be uh, very interesting for me uh, for our uh, readers of the TKT one one nine five seven to um, because it's a trend that I think that we as media are supposed to motivate. Definitely, yeah, it's interesting. It's um, it's definitely um, it's definitely like change. That's been a shift in the conversation. Um. I think before there's been a lot of greenwashing, there's been a lot of vague discussions about sustainability, but it's, I think this IBC was the first time I saw it kind of being taken more seriously, let's say. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what about, I, I wanted to ask you, uh, what about the AI? Are your clients yeah. are uh, jump to the, to the, to the, it's like, it's, it's the fashion now and it's globally and it's all not only in the broadcasting i think it's everywhere yeah in every uh, aspect of our life i don't know if it's for good or for bad but uh, what about <laughs> your clients are they impl uh, yeah if they if they're making the implementation of ai in their products yeah to some extent so some of them have been talking about ai for a bit um I, sometimes it's ai sometimes it's machine learning i suppose um so from <clears throat> excuse me integrating it into like storage so that you and mass media asset management so you can find the clips or the specific videos quickly and easily um exedo integrates with so they have a certain amount and then they integrate with um people like jump 
who specialize in AI um, for data and analytics. So you can analyze who's watching what and what they might be interested in. So you can push the recommendations to them. Um, so definitely still really big and growing topic. Um, but we didn't, I mean, actually, I think we might have some announcements coming at some point down the line more on AI. Uh, so maybe NAB is where it would be even bigger. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We also were expecting that. Yeah. We also think it's the trend is going to go up and uh, mm. like in the next global exhibition, we will see uh, much more of AI implementation. Now I wanted to ask about your uh, uh, PR and marketing agency. Uh, how many clients do you have from the broadcasting industry and from how many countries? Because I, I, I never saw, like, uh, 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 we're doing um, many years, we do B2B uh, magazines, not only about broadcasting, we did many of them, mm -hmm. uh, different uh, industries. And the first time I see, like, a, a professional uh, ad advertising and PR and marketing agency specialized in some in in in, a, in in an industry so it's yeah. like uh, could you please explain us how it was created from where came the idea yeah of course so basically it well it started just as me um so 17 years ago nearly um so before i was in house at dolby and um doing pr and then i had a baby okay. and i didn't want to go back to work <laughs> so I set okay. myself up, um, but I decided to sort of stay in that area that I was familiar with. So at Dolby, I'd focused on the PR for the broadcast industry part. Oh, okay. they, um, they split mm -hmm. it into three tra three strains, so broadcast, cinema, and consumer electronics. So I was mainly working on broadcast and cinema. So that's kind of where it started. It made sense because I knew some people, I knew some media um and then it just grew from there basically and now there's eight of us um we are you eight employees mm -hmm. okay how many clients um and you're going to ask that and i have to count them now i think about 15 maybe just before more than that actually very good cool yeah maybe a bit more than adobe 15. they stay your client or uh yeah, you know, sometimes, so we've done somewhere, we've done pro short-term projects. Um, obviously, there's been some where we've lost a client. Quite often, it's because they've been taken over. So we've had a few recently where um, they were acquired by a bigger company. Um, we've got one. That, oh, okay. so there's one recent that has been acquired, but we're still retained. But there's some cases where if they've acquired by a bigger company that's got their own PR, then we might not stay on but um at the, for example exceedo i've worked with since the beginning they were one of my first clients um and a couple of others as well yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the emergence in this in this market that uh, happen all the time of course yeah, yeah. and <laughs> the, the market is becoming more and more consolidated of okay? like i think it's like uh, the global village uh, now people saying it's going to it's like the end of it but uh, uh, yeah. and, like by by what we see like on the markets it's become more and more consolidated all the time so uh okay uh what are the plans where are you going to uh, are you going to barcelona are you going to uh of course you're going to barcelona as i understand for mobile world or huh? for, for which for mobile world the, yeah 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 the february um I, sorry, bear with me just one second. My, um, sorry, my son is, he's been on a trip to, um, London and he's with school and he's just got back at the school and he's trying to oh, phone okay, me yes. because I'm not there, but my, my husband's going to pick him up. So I was just messaging that. That's so uh, more important than the interview. 100%. <laughs> of course. Um, so, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, actually, I don't know whether I'll be at Mobile World Congress. Most of our clients haven't historically been there, but a couple have been talking about it for this year, so they might possibly be there. Okay. 
Okay. So NAB and definitely will have NAB a lot of that. So. Definitely, be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I wanted to ask you, like, the are you making only the marketing and like social media press releases, or do you also assistant in the exhibition itself, like um, the booth, the design, uh, what the agency does? Yeah, it depends. So a lot of our clients are quite small, so it depends what they have in house. Um, we just fill in wherever they need it. So for some, it, it has meant doing the whole exhibition. Uh, for most of them, it's definitely speaking opportunities and awards on top of the traditional marketing PR stuff. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, Ellen, mm -hmm. I want to thank you very much. I think it's uh, it was a great interview for the for the for the first one. Okay.